Hey guys, Colton here from WPM Westlock here in our showroom today to show you a short demo on how to choose the correct helmet for all of your off-road needs. Here at WPM, we carry a number of helmets from Skidoo, Can-Am, 509 helmets, and G-Max here today, so we understand that it can be a hard choice for new riders. The first thing to consider when choosing a helmet is what you're going to be using it for. Are you looking for something with extra padding, heat advisors and radio hookups for Skidoo riders or something with less padding that is easier to clean for rolling through the muddy trails? For the kids, you might want to consider one of our full face G-Max helmets as they protect the user from the elements. If you decide on one of our 509 helmets, you will notice that they come with a brim or a peak, which helps stop debris from other riders reaching your face. They also have a magnetic quick release strap called the Fidlock. When it comes to picking out a helmet, knowing what size your head is, is the most important step in selecting the correct helmet for you. To correctly measure your head, measure the circumference of your head from just above the tops of the ears to the eyebrows. For an easy trick, take a string or a fishing line and use that and laid out next to a tape measure. If you know your hat size, you can also use that to determine what size of helmet you may need. When selecting a helmet, you want something that is snug but does not have any movement on your head. However, you do not want it to be too tight as you should be able to get a finger in between the sides of your helmet and your face. Try a few on for comfort is very important. Additionally, you can look into the helmet's rating. There are a number of agencies that rate test helmets. Some of the symbols you might see, like on this one, are DOT, ECE, Snell, FIM, or MIPS, which stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. If your helmet has a certification, take a look online and read the requirements for that rating, as some ratings are more strict than others. Lastly, a few features to consider are removable liners, vents, and compatible goggles. If you're buying an off-road or skidoo helmet, make sure that you bring in your goggles, if you have them, to check that they fit snugly within the helmet's face area and are not too large for the opening. Thanks for watching. My name is Colton here at WPM. If you have any questions, come down and talk to one of us or check us out at WPM.ca.